for joining me in my kitchen. My name is Beatrice, and today um, I'm going to make a uh, pizza. Um, normally, I like to make videos that are not too long uh, because I like to make quick, short meals. Um, but today, I wanted to make this video because someone saw a pizza that I made last week. It was a creamy spinach and grilled chicken pizza. So I'm here to show you how to make it. This is 100% whole wheat. Um, there's actually no white flour in it. So even with uh, breads, when you see the word whole wheat, that means there's white flour in it. If it says 100% whole wheat, then I mean they only use whole wheat flour. Um, I bought this King Arthur's flour. It is 100% whole wheat flour. There's no white flour added. I have my active dry yeast that I have put in one cup of water. No, about about one cup of water with a tablespoon of honey. You let your active dry yeast sit for about five minutes to get a bit foamy. If it doesn't, that means it is dead and you need to replace it. Um, I also have my salt. I have olive oil, two and a half cups. Oh shoot, two and a half cups of the whole wheat flour, and I also have cornmeal. You'll see the reason for the cornmeal later on. So that, let's go ahead and get started. My like I said, my yeast has been sitting in my warm water, not cold and not too hot because you don't want to kill it. Um, it's been sitting in my warm water for about five minutes now. I have my clean counter. I'm pouring this right on my counter because I'm going to show you how to do it uh, the way they taught me in college, the way they taught me in school. Um, I did go to a culinary school to study baking. So this is how we did it. Um, if you have a stand mixer, that's fine. That's great. That's even better because it's a lot quicker. So, let me add about a teaspoon of salt. I'm using Himalayan pink salt. You don't have to use this. You can use sea salt, kosher salt, whatever salt you prefer. But be careful if you're going to use this because it's a bit salty. Alright, I'm going to make a well. This is all you do. You don't have to use this. If you don't have a bench scraper or a dough scraper, that's fine. You can use, use your fingers. I'm gonna pour my water right in the center. Trying to get all that honey in there. Whoops. That's okay. I got you, I got you and about one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil right down the center. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and use my fingers and just do a little rotate, rotate, um, rotating motion until all of that flour is well incorporated. I also have extra flour here for dusting because the dough will get sticky. And you just keep dragging your flour right into the water and work your way out. All right, now we I can use my hands and Go ahead and try to form a ball. Like I said, if you're using a stand mixer, a lot easier, less messy. I'm gonna get both hands in there. Very, very sticky. All right, make sure you gather all that up. Now, I'm gonna let this rest. Oh. I have my stainless steel bowl. You're gonna drizzle it just a little bit with olive oil. Coat it, place your ball of dough right in the center. And I'm going to get a plastic wrap. And 
and I'm gonna grease this very, very lightly. We need our dough to rise. Ah. So I'm gonna just lightly grease this, not a lot. Now you're gonna put this in a warm place. Warmest place in your kitchen, the microwave. Put this in the microwave until it doubles in size. Do not turn it on. I know it's stainless steel. I'm not gonna turn it on. <laughs> but um, you're gonna put it in the microwave until it doubles in size. It's gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour, um, depends, depending on the temperature. While that's going on, let me show you what I'm using. I do have a pizza pie pan here that I do have um, that I'm gonna use. But I also have a, pi uh, a pizza stone. The pizza stone is awesome. It's great for pizzas, biscuits, breads, whatever you want to bake, you can bake it right directly on the, on the uh, stone. With the stone, you have to put it in the oven, let it uh, heat up for about 15 minutes. You can't just put your product on it and bake it immediately. It will be cold, your, your dough will not uh, cook properly. Um, this, I know this, it looks dirty, but it's not dirty. I've just had it for about two and a half years. And with a pizza stone, you do not wash it. You just simply clean it off because it's really not that messy. Um, anything that bakes onto it can just be scraped right off. This I got at Ross for about three fifty or four dollars or something like that. Um, you can find it at Walmart or most of your local stores, Kmart, Target, or whatever. This is a very great thing to put in your kitchen. Like I said, it turns your regular oven into like a brick oven. Like when you go to um, an Italian restaurant and they have brick oven pizzas. This is the same thing, but you obviously can't have that in your kitchen, so you opt for this. Um, so let's go ahead and wait for my dough to rise. And once we start kneading that, I'm going to get started on cooking my grilled chicken here on my grill. If you don't have a grill, you can use a George Foreman grill, outside grill, whatever you choose. Um, and we'll be right back. Um, it's been about an hour since I put my dough in the microwave. Remember, I did not turn it on. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, start kneading our dough. Let's go ahead and uh, first get the extra flour that we had. I'm gonna flour down our surface. Reason why is because it's really sticky. That looks really good. All right, now we're gonna knead our dough. The way you knead your dough, is you push it out away from you. Let me take off my tracker before this thing gets dirty. Push away from you, bring it in. Push away, bring it in. And we're gonna do this for about five minutes. Get this thing working. Whenever you feel it getting a bit sticky, you just add a little bit of flour, not too much. All right. So I'm gonna do this for about uh, two to five minutes and I'll be right back. All right, I've kneaded my dough, so now I'm gonna stretch it out a bit. I am not a pro at this, so don't judge me, please. Pizza crust is not easy to make. If you get any holes, it's okay. The dough is still sticky, so you can always pinch your holes. Take the back of your knuckles, or your knuckle, I mean, and you can just push it out, make it a lot easier for you. Since this is homemade pizza, who says it has to be circular? You know? It could be any shape you want. Patch up your holes, but you do want it to be even. Even meaning at the same level. So you don't want to have a chunk here, a a lump here and it is flat next to it and it's really really thin over here so I'm gonna try to get it as level as I can using my hands and obviously if you want a uh, thicker crust you're gonna use a um, more flour and of course just double up the, ingre the, the ingredients if you want a thinner crust you will go with this recipe. Again, that was uh, two and a half cups of 100% whole wheat flour. If it doesn't say 100%, it's not all whole wheat. 
um, a teaspoon of a salt, one teaspoon of a active dry yeast to one cup of warm water. I added a tablespoon of honey because I wanted the extra sweetness. If not, you can just cut it back to uh, one teaspoon or you can use agave, sugar. You need extra flour for dusting. And I also have my cornmeal. Like I said, you're gonna see what I use when I'm using the cornmeal for. The cornmeal I'm gonna put on my pizza pie, pizza pie tin. And I'm just gonna lightly place it on there because it's gonna, it's gonna give the pizza this nice crunchy uh, texture. Also, it's gonna give it some great flavor. I do have my pizza stone in the oven already because like I said, it needs to heat up for about 15 minutes before you can use it. And I'm going to lightly drizzle this with uh, olive oil and just brush that in. My grilled chicken I've already made the way I made it. Like I said, I put it on my George Foreman grill Simple and quick. Um, I took a chicken breast, I butterflied it. Butterfly means you just cut it in half and it's still stuck together. So this is your chicken breast. When you butterfly it, it's like this and it's still stuck together. And I grilled it for about six to eight minutes on both sides. Um, here it is, nice and cooked. All right, let me gather my ingredients and then we're gonna start topping, okay? One second. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start topping my uh, pizza. I have my creamy Alfredo sauce, I have mozzarella cheese, I have my grilled chicken, and I have my spinach. So let's go ahead and... Uh... Coat the bottom. Don't go all the way to the edges. We're gonna pinch it. I don't want it too thick because I don't want a sloppy pizza. My goodness, I hear crying. All right, next I'm gonna add my spinach. This is about one and a half cups. I'm gonna break the tear, just tear it up in my hands. Make sure you spread it out evenly. A little more. So that's about two cups. I'm gonna sprinkle just a bit of garlic powder on this. Just a tiny bit, because I like that garlicky taste when I'm eating pizza. I'm gonna add my oops, my chicken breast. All right, once your chicken breast has been added, now for your cheese, I'm using a low moisture part skim mozzarella. You want everybody to get a bite of chicken, so let's just make sure, just spread it out. Nice. And a nice heaping amount of cheese. i say about two cups, maybe. And we're gonna pinch the outside. Pinching is just simple. You roll and you pinch. That's it. Roll and pinch. I'm going to do that all the way around. All right. All right, here's my finished product. Um, like I said, I do have my pizza stone and my pizza stone is already in my oven. It's been heating up for uh, 450 degrees. 
I put the cornmeal on there, also on the pizza pan, like I said, for the flavor, the crunchiness, and it's gonna be easier to slide my pizza onto my pizza stone, because there's no way that you'll be able to do all this after taking the pizza stone out. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes, just until the uh, cheese melts, and I get a nice crunchy uh, dough. I'll be right back, okay? I just took my pizza out of the oven. Um, it's still on the brick. I'm gonna take it off in a couple minutes. I'm gonna let it cool down before I begin to cut. Look how that crust. I love the way that sounds. It's not sticking. My chicken is cooked. It's nice and bubbly. Yummy. My circle's not perfect, but who the hell cares? This homemade pizza. Damn it. All right, I'm gonna let it let it rest for about five minutes, let it cool down, and then I'm gonna start cutting. All right, um, I've allowed my uh, pizza to cool for about five minutes. Um, here, it, here, here it is. I took it from the uh, pizza stone and I put and I just slid it right onto my pizza pan because you're not supposed to cut on the pizza stone because you don't want to cause any breaks um, in the stone or it's just gonna defeat its purpose. So let me just cut this up. All right, and get the biggest slice and plate it. It's a nice size crust. Um, dough is cooked all the way through. Let's go ahead and taste that. Mmm, tastes really good. The cornmeal at the bottom is giving it a nice crispy texture. Again, my flour, or my dough, was 100% um, whole wheat flour. If it doesn't say 100%, there is whole wheat and there is 100% whole wheat flour. If it doesn't say 100%, then it's not um, all whole wheat. So that's two and a half cups of whole wheat flour, 100% whole wheat flour. Um, you have um, one cup of warm water, and you add in one tablespoon, if you don't want it too sweet, add about a teaspoon of a uh, either honey or agave or sugar um, into your warm water uh, along with your uh, one teaspoon of active dry yeast. Um, you're, you're, you're gonna add one teaspoon of salt into your flour, make a well, add the water, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Uh, mix it all together, like I said, by hand or with a um, stand mixer is fine. Well incorporated, you, after you make your ball, you're gonna let your dough rest in a greased, uh, in a greased um, bowl. Cover it with a lightly greased uh, piece of plastic paper, plastic wrap. Warmest part of your house. Let it double in size for about an hour or so. Once you do that, you knead it for about five minutes, and you uh, mold it, shape it, top it, bake it. Um, that took about about uh, two hours to make. Not bad for such a great product. I'm very happy, very pleased with my pizza. And if you don't want grilled cheese, I'm um, sorry, grilled chicken pizza, you could always top it with whatever you want. But I'm proud of my dough. Thank you so much for all the one, everyone who's been sharing, liking, and uh, subscribing to my page. There's more to come. Thank you and enjoy.